Now you know we had to get to the store real quick to pick out this sundress. Cause you know it's sundress season. And we gotta make sure that thing walking right in this dress. Okay, I see you girl. Now go ahead, pick out, put on the first one. Let's see what that's looking like. Okay. Oh, you looking real good. But I need you to turn around though, cause don't nobody care about your face. Okay, it's walking right. Okay, yes, girl, hold on. Back up, honey. Yes, let's try that one more again. Okay, girl, all right. Okay, now what they say? Yes, pool. Yes. Now try the next one on. Let's see what that one do. Okay, you looking real cute in there. You really feeling yourself. But you know you gotta turn around for the best part. Cause don't nobody care about your face. Oh, a girl in the, is looking real round in that one. Okay. I just got a question for you, sis. Who told you about sundress season and that you have to have booty goals? I mean, you looking cute or whatever, but I need you to have a seat, honey. We got to have a talk. Who told you about this? Why are you under so much social pressure? Is this worth your peace of mind? Just really think about it. Is this worth your peace of mind? Every day you wake up and you're in an effort to find that right outfit, to put on the best makeup, to make sure your hair it looks this way and that way so you can get the most attention, so you can get the most likes. I understand everybody wants to look good. Everybody wants to feel good. But are we really doing it because we want to feel good or because we want them to feel good? We want them to like us. We want them to look at us. So think about what are you advertising and why? Like when you go buy that dress, when you go buy your outfits, think about what you're advertising. Think about what you're trying to put on display. Okay, because I see a lot of us, we spend a lot of time like this. And we don't even, like, what are you advertising? Are you advertising? What are you advertising, baby? Like, what about your face? What about your smile? What about your personality? It's very rare that we see somebody just with the photo just looking straight ahead. You always got to throw in your advertisement. Like, we... And, and then we get upset when that kind of attention comes to us. You know, glorifying the human body and idolizing our body is blasphemy against God. God does not want our focus to be on our appearance and how good we can look. That is idolizing the human body. That's an idol. That is pl replacing God, the creator, with creation. And the world, media, television, music, they all idolize the human body. And really, this two assets, your breast and your behind, like, we literally worship that. And you can't tell me that we don't because you got sundress season, right? That's the main reason for the sundress these days is because of what it looks like back there. We literally idolize the things that God made. And God is, he's tired of it. He's, he's tired of it. And you know, on the modest movement is not here to tell you what to wear and how to wear it. But we're here to help you access your heart. God cares about your heart. He cares about the state of your soul. And he wants to be, he wants you to be used by him. But we can't be used by God and the world. We can't be a product of lust and, and of, of, of attraction and at the same time, try to walk out in our purpose that God has for us. We have to choose one or the other. The Bible says that our body is designed to be the temple of the Holy Spirit. And that we are to present our bodies as a living and holy sacrifice to God. We can't be a living and holy sacrifice to God if we're being a, a, a sexy sacrifice to men. And to what the world wants to see. It's like we're literally here to please men who don't care to know our first names. And then if he does get your first name, he's probably not trying to give you his last name. He just wants what he sees right in front of him. And ladies, we have to really access this, these behaviors. Why do we do what we do? Are we seeking the attention of a man? Are we seeking to be used by the Lord? Somewhere, somehow, this demonic image has been engraved into our minds. I remember I used to listen to the music. I used to watch uh, a lot of TV shows, and it would make me feel bad about myself. Like, it really damaged my self-worth and my love for myself because they were always telling me what I need to look like. They were always telling me what would give me the most attention. You even got women in media who changed their whole bodies because they know it gets them the most views. Isn't that sad? 
aren't you aren't you sick of trying to find your identity out there in the world that's never satisfied? Don't you know Jesus came to die for you so you so you can be free from that kind of pressure, so you can be free to be yourself and be who He called you to be. But we can't do that if we're constantly being pulled and pressed on every side, trying to please this world. You can't please the world. Tomorrow they want a big butt, and then the next day, well, your titty's too saggy. You can never please this world. And I encourage you, if you are tired of finding your identity in this world, I encourage you to find your identity in Christ because he already has given you an identity, but a lot of us aren't willing to accept that. Okay, we, we're too busy trying to be accepted by this world rather than being accepted by the beloved. So I encourage you to head over to themodestmovement.com and click on our identity page where you can learn about your God-given identity, how you can be used by God, how your body is a, a living and holy sacrifice and how God has a plan for you. And we got we to gotta get out the, the world's plan. We can't be in both of them. And so... That's it for this lesson about sundress season. I thank you guys for tuning in. And once again, you know, I'm Jasmine. You can find me on all social media platforms at Jasmine C. Garner. And you can head to modestmovement.com to join my email list where I encourage you and we talk personally. And I would love to connect with you. So thank you guys and God bless.